Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, <laughs> Jen and Amelia here. So we're on the second side of the sideline release technique. And uh, I did not mention in the first one, but you always have to do both sides, right? You can't just release one side. So Amelia and I have already had a few minutes on this side. Um, all of what I said in the previous video goes here. But I was cueing Amelia through the visualization of her psoas. And the psoas is um, a big structure in this uh, technique that gets balanced. So I had her visualize the uterus that slides and rides on the psoas. So the psoas is at the sort of side anterior of the lumbar spine, goes down through the front of the hip and connects into the lesser trochanter of this leg that's hanging off the Cadillac. So we're getting lots of length and balance and unwinding in that structure. And so it's like the, the slip and slide for the, the baby, for the uterus. And a lot of times moms will have one psoas that'll be a little bit stuck and rigid. And so the baby is just gonna hang out on that other side. All right, and then I'm gonna have Amelia, when she's ready, just bring this leg back on top. Good, and she can bend her knees. Nice. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.